rush routines ahead of a kickoff. Let's get to the starting lineups then, starting with the Decartret College team. They start the same 11 they did in a one-all draw against Belair on Saturday. Israel Edwards will be in goal. A back four of right back Jalen Lambert, central defenders Douglas Whiteley and Giovanni Clark with Alex Moshamp at left back. They have three in the middle, Siobhan Williams, Jaim Rowe and Raheem Russell. Wingers, Jadain Fairweather and Federico Morris with Jaim Johnson, the center point of their attack. Belfield are coming off a 1-0 defeat in their opener. They two starting a back four today. Left back Davian Archibald, Rashawn Onfroya, right back central defenders Lashane Riley and Romaria Hunt, Renardo Farkison, Chandrick Beckford, Mark Rowe and DeAndre Griffiths in midfield. Winger Orlando Rowe also starts with Jermaine Hines set as their main man up front. Rayon Johnson is the coach of the Belfield team. Let's have a look at the highlights. They came into this one with a lot of hope and courage that they could get three points. It was the Carteret in the first half. They dominated it and they had opportunities but just could not put them away. The goalkeeper looked shaky at times, especially in the early part of the contest. Israel Edwards, that was one of those occasions. The shot going wide of the mark. He was fortunate there. They kept attacking. This shot from Chadwick Beckford blocked and the follow-up, a decisive tackle coming in from Giovanni Clark. They would continue to attack in the first half though, Belfield. Griffiths with this cross, Jermaine Hines with the header, brilliant save by the goalkeeper. And Orlando Rowe with an opportunity as well late in that first half to make it 1-0 to Belfield. He couldn't score. He was substituted at the start of the second half. The second half was where they got into their own Decartrick College. The captain wiped it with a header just wide of the mark. Then with he made this delightful pass, brilliantly saved by goalkeeper Chad Wright. Then in the 57th minute, Thought it was an own goal, but it actually came from the boot of Alex Musham to make it 1-0 in favor of DeCartrick Connett. Spectacular goal at the end of it. Then, two minutes later, 59th minute, the captain sending the ball long. Unfortunate bounce going over Chad Wright's head, and it was 2-0 for DeCartrick College at that stage. The captain with his second goal of the season, having also scored in their opener against Belair. 2-0 at that stage. And they would have thought they would go all the way and win it. But Belfield were determined. And in truth, you watch the run of play, the better team. Love the ball out wide for Renato Parkinson, getting the cross in. And nicely finished off by Mark Rowe. The 17 year old to make it 2 1. The goalkeeper almost on delay as he went down to attempt to make the save. 2 1 at that stage. And they would continue to press. Farkasen chipping the ball forward. And then Whiteley with the infringement. And the penalty awarded. Farkasen stepped up and brilliantly put it away. The goalkeeper guessing right, but not having the speed or the agility to get the jump done. And at the end of the day, it's Belfield 2, the Cartwright 2. Match statistics, seven shots for Belfield, five for the Cartwright, three on target for Belfield and two for the Cartwright, two falls apiece. Just one yellow card in the contest going to uh, Belfield. Uh, they were caught in the offside position quite a lot, Belfield. Uh, four corners for them, two for the Cartwright College. And uh, Belfield, for the most part, dominated possession. 56%, 44% for the Cartwright College. The stat that's most important at the very top, the Cartwright College 2, Belfield 2. Gerard Morrisili is standing pitch side with the player of the match. 
Yeah, so we're here with Douglas Whiteley, the player of the match. How comfortable are you with their performance today? Not very comfortable um, because we had the game, but we lost it due to um, concentration in the second half. What were you thinking when you scored that free kick from so far? <laughs> I didn't expect it to go in. I was just crossing it over to my teammate, but it went over the keeper. Said, What are you looking to improve on personally for your next game? Positioning and more communication with my centre back. All right, congratulations and all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you. Now we're going to have a chat with the Carteret assistant coach, Greg Plummer. Coach, uh, you're walking away with a two all draw. Are you happy with it? Um, we're not happy because we were leading 2 0 until the last 20 minutes. Um, yeah. We lost focus, concentration level, job, so we ended up giving away the, the two late goals. What do you think went wrong in the team today? Um, I, I think we got a little bit complacent because we were leading, so we, we stopped playing. But nevertheless, we we're happy that we didn't lose the game in the end. What, which, which players do you think played an important role today? Definitely Douglas Whiteley, the, the man of the match, the captain. All right, Coach, well, thank you, and all the best thank for you, the rest of the season. All right. We'll have a, ca a chat now with the winning coach, Coach Lee. Yeah. Oh, sorry, the drawing coach, <laughs> the other coach for Belfield High. Belfield High, um, accustomed to winning matches against the Carteret uh, College. Are you happy with this result? Do you think it was fair? Um, um, correction, um, we haven't played them in, in years. We've been in the Clarendon zone, so it's not a happy uh, moment to, to, to come up with a point. I mean, we, we started out well, created a, a few chances that we should have scored, and... Um, you know, it's just unfortunate. Um, we conceded and, you know, everything went on the set. Do you think your team made the same mistake that they did in the first game? It's the same thing. Same mistake. I, I think we, we just not finishing and creating the chances, but not taking them. What do you hope that you can improve on other than finishing when it comes to the next Well, game? composure. I think we're trying to rush the game. Um, not, uh, we're able to put the ball down, but we're not doing it. And I think this, that's something that we need to work on along with finishing. All right, Coach. Well, well done today and sure, all the you. best for the rest of the season. Thank you. Well, so there you heard it from the coaches and from the player of the match as well, Douglas Whiteley. We still have great conditions here at Manchester High School. That was only the first of two matches in Zone D today of the Issa Da Costa Cup. What a game it was. Had some, quality, some good moments, some not so great moments, some comedic moments as well. But it's all about the fun. And at the end of it all, for these two teams, it's 2-2. Two -two. They share the points. Coming up, it's going to be Manchester High and Homo Technical.